With the recent release of the Ushikubi Mura, or Cow's Head Village movie, the latest in Shimizu Takashi's Terrifying Villages series, I thought this week that we would take a look at the original urban legend behind the infamous Cow's Head story. As the tagline for the movie states, Have you ever heard of the Cow's Head? Everyone who has ever heard this story is cursed, and then disappears. But what's the real urban legend behind this? After all, it wasn't created just for the movie, but rather is a legend that has been around for many decades now. Let's take a look. The original legend itself is quite short, and goes as follows. There exists a tale so terrifying that all who hear it will be unable to stop trembling, and will die within three days. The creator of this story, regretting that his work caused so many deaths, became a priest and held a memorial service for those who had passed on. He never again told the story to another person before he died. Everyone who knew the story has passed on, and all that remains are the tales of the fear it inspired, and its title, Cow's Head. That's it. That's the legend behind Cow's Head. It's an urban legend about a ghost story that no longer exists. Now, while you can find many stories on the internet that claim to be the real thing, they're all fake. Why? Because the actual story doesn't exist. That's the point of the legend, and why it's so terrifying. The only part that remains of this so-called story is the title, Gozu, or Cow's Head. This leaves the contents of the story up to the imagination of the reader, and the mere thought that a tale could be so scary as to kill you upon hearing it has made for one of the most effective and enduring urban legends in Japan today. In addition to the original legend, there is a particularly infamous story about the power of the legend that also goes as follows. An elementary school teacher was telling his students ghost stories on the bus as they headed towards their school trip. His usually boisterous students listened to him seriously and were truly scared. Feeling pleased with himself, the teacher saved his scariest story for last, that of the cow's head. He lowered his voice and began to speak. The story I'm going to tell you now is that of the cow's head. So, about this cow's head. Shortly after he began to tell the tale, something strange happened on the bus. The children began to tremble with fear, and one after the other, they pleaded with him to stop. One child turned blue and covered his ears while others screamed and cried at the top of their lungs. But the teacher did not stop. His eyes were blank, like he had been possessed by something. The bus came to a sudden stop, and the teacher returned to his senses. He looked at the bus driver and saw he was trembling and had broken out in a cold sweat. He must have stopped, thinking he could go on no longer. Then, as he looked around the bus, he saw the students had all fainted and were foaming at the mouth. The teacher never told the tale of the cow's head ever again. All stories of the cow's head tale end the same way. Nobody knows what it actually is, but simply hearing it will scare you to death. Sometimes quite literally. And that's the entire point behind the legend. You don't need to know what the real story is. After all, if something is left up to our imaginations, we'll often come up with something far more terrifying than the original story could ever have told us, right? So then, where did this legend even come from? Regardless of what the real story may or may not be, where did the legend of it even come from? Well, the most likely answer is actually a short story from the 1950s. Author Komatsu Sakyo wrote a short story in 1956 titled Cow's Head, and it's believed that this is where the latter urban legend originated from. Its title and even the contents of the story are almost exactly the same as the legend that exists today. In the story, a young man overhears some people talking about the scariest story ever, a tale they call Cow's Head. Intrigued, 
He asks them to tell him the story, but everyone refuses. They can't say it. They don't want to remember it. Ask someone else. The excuses are endless, and as the man asks more and more people, he realizes that an unexpectedly large number of people know of the story. Yeah, that's a really good one. That story is so well written. I've never heard such a scary story as that one. And yet, everyone refuses to tell him the tale. He finds himself at the home of a mystery writer, and discovers the tale's origins lie in Central Asia. He asks the writer to tell him the story, but the man refuses, saying he has some urgent business to attend to, and to come back tomorrow. When the man visits him the next day, he discovers the writer has taken off overseas for an extended vacation. That's when the man realizes something that shocks him. Everyone knows the story title, Cow's Head, and that the tale is terrifying, but not a single person knows the details of the story. In fact, they even said it themselves. I've never heard such a scary story as that one. Only the title and the fear the story inspires are being spread, and in reality, no one has actually heard it. Yet, even though no one has heard it, it continues to terrify people regardless. The man then decides to continue spreading the story to those who haven't heard it yet. It's not hard to see why people think the legend of the cow's head story sprang to life from this tale. The story essentially is the urban legend, and goes to show how effective the power of suggestion can be. You don't need to craft the most terrifying tale ever. You just need people to think that it exists and they'll do the rest of the work for you. But funnily enough, Komatsu himself stated that the concept of the cow's head story was already floating around in the publishing world at the time and was not even his original idea. Its roots can be traced back even further. There was supposedly a village towards the end of the Edo period that suffered from a great famine and resorted to cannibalism to survive. At first, they only ate the flesh of the dead, but in time, this escalated, and they started to eat those who were too weak to fight back as well. Feeling a great sense of guilt over what they were doing, the villagers resorted to putting cow's scalps on those they wished to hunt, as a way to pretend they weren't committing horrific acts. So, if we take Komatsu at his word, then the idea of the cow's head story has actually been around for, potentially, hundreds of years. All thanks to a story from the Edo period, in which a village struck by famine turned to eating each other to survive. Then, to make themselves feel better, they put cow's heads on these people so they could pretend that what they were doing wasn't horrifically wrong. Is this story even true? Well, considering it supposedly comes from the Edo period, it's unlikely we'll ever know. It could easily have been something that really happened, and then rumours spread throughout nearby villages until those stories filtered all the way through to the modern day, or it could be something that another writer back in the 40s and 50s made up, which then got picked up by another writer, and then turned into a story that itself then got turned into an urban legend, in a very long chain of events, leading all the way up to the modern day. Fascinating, isn't it? Either way, this is the story behind the cow's head urban legend, a tale so terrifying that nobody actually knows what it is, and simply hearing it will drive you insane, or, in a worst case scenario, even kill you. What story could be so terrifying that merely hearing it will drive you to death? Well, curiosity killed the cat, as they say, and that innate desire to know the unknowable is something that has driven humans for thousands of years, even with the threat of madness lingering above it. And that's what makes this legend of the unknowable so enduring. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and... I'll see you again next time.